I have a Canon i320 old printer that I want to turn into a wireless printer. So I can just leave it in the cupboard and forget about it and print to it from several laptops when we want to. Okay, so I started off, I purchased from eBay a LPR print server. So I've got this LPR print server, which is just a tidy little unit. Uh, it comes with its own cables and power supply. So what I've done is I've got my print server. So the power supply is obviously plugged in and it comes with a cable that runs from the print server back to the wireless modem router. So that's all plugged in and there. And then I've got the cable my printer USB cable running to the other side of the print server. So everything is all turned on, all ready to go. So then let's go to the laptop. go to devices and printers so we want to so we need to go in and delete the i320 that's in there at the moment so we delete that and then we go to add a printer we want to add a local printer we've got to create a new port for this so we go to the TCP IP port we go next so we need to put in the IP address and the IP address for the printer server is 192.168.1.65 so we've got that typed in there we untick that we go to next and now it will automatically try to detect the TCP slash IP port And in the meantime, once again, there is the networking unit that I purchased off eBay. Pretty simple little unit. So it's Windows 7 compatible. So it is an LPR printer survey, server. Okay, so that's still looking for that port. Okay, now it comes up here. Uh, just check. The device was not found, but that doesn't matter. So we go to a custom setting. So we go to settings. And under the port settings, we click the LPR. Then we need to put in the port, which is LT. P1 port we click on the LPR byte counting enabled and we go OK so that's a special settings under custom we then go to next and now we've come to install a printer so we're looking for a Canon i320 which is what we have there Canon i320 so we'd gone into the Canon website and downloaded the uh, the driver for the i320 
and then we go next. Now, which version of the driver do you want to use? We want to use the driver that's currently installed, which is recommended. We go next. We're going to leave the printer name at i320. Next. So now that's installing the printer. So we do not want to share this printer because we're going to be use it, uh, using it over the wireless system. Go next. And then we just click on printer test page. And there we go. The printer is all set up. Now working wirelessly. And it's printing a test page. So you can leave your printer now sitting in the cupboard. And it's all wirelessly done. All your cables and that are all set up in the cupboard. Now I hope, hope this helps somebody else because I had to muck around for some time getting all this set up. But it just makes it nice and simple.